Hey guys, um, so what I'm working on right now is the shirt for my Sasuke cosplay. Um, see, I don't know how to make a shirt like that by myself, so I'm gonna use the help of a pattern, like with the skirt. Um, but the one that I'm using is quite large, like the pieces for it. There's a lot. I'm using this. I'm trying to use the, this top part basically. Um, if it's not too blurry, I'm trying to use this top, but without these and without this part. And it's not gonna have these little pieces right here or the belt. I just like. I just want the part, this part for the top, the, the design because it matches. So it's not gonna have this with it. So, um, and then we're going to use the, the guide for, like, most of it, the, um, the way to sew it and stuff, the instructions, for just the blouse, basically. Um, it's not a bad idea to use patterns, honestly. It helps with a lot of your cosplay. But, see, for what I did was, um, I took the pattern pieces that I needed, which was only, like, four of them, and I put them on, like we did for the skirt, a big piece of paper. Tape them on like so, and um, all I did was it ends here, but I needed to go like a normal shirt and go long. So I added basically about four to five inches to um, to work. Um, this is only a guesswork at the moment because I don't know if it's gonna work, you know, sew together pretty well or look even look good. But I'm gonna try it, you know, mistakes are always good to learn from. You never know unless you try, right? So what you need to do like I did was get the paper, tape it on, and draw out what you need. Extend it if you have to. Measure from where it ends, like on the normal, on your body, and then add in what you need. And then draw it out and then take off the pattern and start cutting. Alright? Alright. So once you get the pattern cut out, um, now all you have to do is the easy part, which is pinning it onto the fabric and cutting it out. Alrighty. And then after that, all you have to do basically is follow the instructions on how to sew the pieces together. But, um, remember you might have to tweak it a bit because you added at least like a little bit like five inches or whatever length you needed it for the shirt to be. Alright? So make sure you keep that in mind. And, um, let's get started and have fun. Alright everyone, so once you have the blouse, basically the four first parts uh, sewn together, you start working on the collar and what you'll need is either interfacing, which is really really stiff stuff that will make it stay up, and then you'll also need another piece to go over that, so it will have to be on the inside. So when you pin it together, you'll pin the two sides will be on the outside together on top of each other and then interfacing on one of the sides and then cut the corners so that way when you when you fold it and you have these sides sewn in you can turn it inside out and poke out the corner. Alright? So once you have that all pinned together, you can just sew it all together and try it out. Make sure that you try out the fabric that you're using, the interfacing inside. I don't have interfacing, I'm just using this really thick kind of fabric that I used for a vest one time. But it works either way. And make sure you try to test it out so it will stand on its own on your neck. Otherwise, if it doesn't, then it's going to look all floppy. Alright, let's get sewing. So don't forget, your interface might be um, pretty thick or really stiff. So when you fold it inside out after it's been sewn, like this. You might have to use the iron to iron down the crease so it stays like that. Alrighty? So let's get to that. <laughs> 